I am Sarah Garrett Gasson with the Arizona Daily Star. We're here with newsmakers at the University of Arizona College of Medicine and the University of Arizona Medical Center with Dr. Peter Ree, who's the Chief of Trauma. Thanks for letting us into your office. <laughs> You're quite welcome. Thank you. Uh, we're here to talk about gun violence as a public health issue and um, and kind of a global sense. Could you tell us a bit about what you think people don't understand about gun violence and and what we're not seeing from the outside? Well, I would say that uh, you know we're no different than all the other cities in the United States of a similar size. Uh, you know, our city metropolitan area is about a million, and we cover a geography that uh, uh, has our catchment area, as we call it, about a million and a half. And, um, you know, is our gun violence any worse in, the, in Arizona than any place else? Well, you know, probably not in many ways, but it is tremendous, just as it is tremendous in every city. Our, what we call penetrating trauma rate, stabbings and gunshot wounds is about 15% in our trauma center here, which is about what you would get for in other cities in the United States as well. Does that mean 15% of the people who come in are, that's why they're here? Exactly. 15% of the people that I see are from penetrating trauma, as we call it. So the rest of it will be from car accidents. And it's not just every car accident. You have to meet a certain criteria of how injured you were to be required to come all the way over here. So if you had a small uh, injury, then any hospital that's nearby where you live will be able to take care of you. But if you are dying and then they will send you over here, whether it's by, by air or ground, and uh, we'll take care of you. And of the people, if it's penetrating trauma to the torso, which is uh, life-threatening, uh, they will send them here from anywhere in Southern Arizona. Do you think people understand guns and gun violence and what it actually does to a body and to a person? Well, I think that they have the, um, a notion of what it does. I think they have no idea because the number of people in this society that have shot people more than once is not common. So, you know, it's like they're playing with firearms, right, or with fire. They shoot somebody and uh, they have no uh, idea what the consequences of something like that, what it does to somebody's life, fam their life, their family's life of if anybody gets shot. You know, it's, I, don't, I don't have an issue uh, uh, of being the public servant that takes care of everybody that comes to our hospital. I'm very proud of the fact that we are and that actually that that's my job, you know, that I don't have to worry about whether I'm going to get paid or not. I get to just worry about the individual. But does, does people, do people in southern Arizona have an idea uh, what the price is of carrying a gun? And how many people will get shot in this country compared to the other countries? You know, we talk about the magnitude. You know, we, we've been hearing a lot about the Ebola virus, and there's a couple of those people. And we were very worried about how many of our soldiers were being killed in the war in Af Afghanistan and Iraq. Well, in the height of that war, uh, only about 200 to 250 people a year were getting injured by bullets. But in our country, the number of people that get shot is staggering. It's 105,000 people a year. And that's a, that's a public health issue. Uh, 32,000 people die from bullets every single year. That's, that's somebody who gets shot every five minutes, every single five minutes of every day. Uh, 16.4 minutes actually is what it turns out as to how many, how many people die. Every 16 minutes someone dies from a bullet, you know. That's like 88 people a, di a day. These numbers are just absolutely staggering. Mm -hmm. And if you go around the world to developed countries, no other country has these types of numbers, you know. If they're not in war, not in Sweden, not in Norway, not in Germany, France, they don't do that at all. But uh, we're so concerned about so many other health care issues, but we're invisible in our eyes as to what gunshot, gunshot victims get. <laughs>